Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gautam Hevle. This is Dhruv Shah and this is Out of Fly. And we are here today to explain something very simple actually. Another beautiful morning, another beautiful video. And I, I woke it's... you up early again, right? Yeah, that's okay. Now I'm, I'm <laughs> starting to get... Uh, it's, it's annoying but it's still... It's like I know it's coming. <laughs> but uh, so another morning and we've come back with a beautiful video for y'all. I think we had a few people comment in and say that, you know what, why don't you all talk about launch control in automatic cars? As you know, on our channel we've already done two videos where we've drag raced my car which is super chip stage one against an x1 which was stage one and he's raced against vedan stage three polo which is one of the most modified polos in india yeah so oh. if you haven't checked out our videos do check it out but anyway so in those videos we got a few comments you know like what about launch control and how do we launch an automatic car so uh, we thought we'll address it today now our cars don't have a transmission remap so there's yeah. an option where you can do a transmission remap and you get launch control in that so we don't have it basically launch control is you press the brake you press the accelerator and the car holds the rpm at about 2000 rpm so that it spools the turbo and is ready to go when you launch but of course in our case we don't have launch control so what's the next best alternative that is what we are going to try to show today to you that how we are going to try to get the most out of a launch an automatic car without damaging your car a lot yeah <laughs> because of course we do not promote this behavior because it's kind of reckless and also it damages the car, the transmission, yeah. the clutch, everything. So it's not good to do on a regular basis, but the valley run is coming. <laughs> so we thought we should do it because everyone's kind of excited about that. Yeah, and let's take them directly to it then. This is a DSG from Volkswagen. I mean, it's a Skoda car, but ultimately it's Volkswagen. And it's a dual clutch gearbox, so it's pretty fast when it, when it comes to changing gears. But now when it comes to launching, it's a little tricky. So because we don't have launch control, uh, there are a few things that we thought we should address for you guys. So in case you want to launch the car and the valley run is coming, so I'm sure some of you want, would like to do it. But basically in this car, uh, it's a little tedious because we've checked and we've tried a few things which we've read online. First, obviously, is start the car. Right, so you start the car. Next step is switch off your traction control. Basically, traction control avoids wheel spin. So, in case so the system feels that you know the wheels are going to spin, it cuts power. So, definitely, you don't want that. Okay, so now first you go to settings, you go to ESC system, and you switch it off. Okay, so that's done. It's a little tricky in this because you have to go inside some menus and do it, but anyway, that's the second step. Third step is don't switch on the AC. AC off okay and then that's about it just go so now obviously the next step is to launch you can go into sport or you can go into manual now sport lets the car decide when to shift gears when to do everything in manual you decide because this car has paddle shifts and paddle shifts are very useful especially when you're launching the car now the, the important thing to note here is in manual you can decide when to change the gears so if you know when you should change your gears which we will address at the end of this video when you should change the gears then go for manual otherwise trust the car and go for sport and of course it depends on you've done a remap or it's stock whatever it matters so it makes a difference when you're launching the car so now when it comes to launching there are two ways you can go about this now there's no perfect solution of course because this doesn't have launch control so at the end of the day it's all on you okay so now the two ways are so we've tried both and in our experience the second one works better but anyway so the first one is where you hold down the brake and the accelerator together let the revs push a little till so in this car that's the thing so in this car the revs only go to about 1500 rpm which is not even 1500 also and it puts too much stress on the clutch so the other way is press the brake and don't press the accelerator and then when you want to launch release the brake and then jam the accelerator so that doesn't put that much stress on your clutch and secondly you know when the car will launch so of course you can try both and let us know which works better for you some cars actually let the engine rev even when you're pressing both brake and accelerator so it comes down to that so you guys decide you let us know but in our experience the second one works better and that's what we are going to use and yeah i think that's about it time to go now we're in the audi so this is the a3 guys Ultimately, both are Volkswagen. I know it's 
it's very weird but that's how it is because Volkswagen owns like half of the car companies anyway this gear is branded differently it's called S-Tronic and steps remain the same so you start the car switch off the AC but here's what's important in this car so there is an ESC button in that car it's directly telling you that you know it's switching off ESC but in this car there are two three modes of course there's normal then there's sport ESC which helps a little but it still cuts power but if you hold it down so it goes into sport and if you hold it down then it goes off so that's important and that's about it oh also in this the rest is the same except there are no paddle shifters in this car but you use this if you want manual or whatever sport sport then let the system decide what should happen so let's go That was quite something man. That was interesting. <laughs> so now, now we should address after you launch then what. So there is another technique which is also important to know because once you launch then when to shift the gears. Yeah, I think that's equally important. So launch, you may get the start right but how do you deliver through yeah. to get the max of your launch. So now it depends on your car, it depends on the engine, it depends on a lot of factors. Let's just address this car for example. All right. This car is a stage one super chips. So now if you refer to our video where we've done the dyno of this car and studied the curve, in that each RPM has a certain torque, certain horsepower. Now the best time to shift your gear is at max torque. So in this car, it's about between 5,500 to 6,000 RPM. All right. So Correct. that's when you should shift your gear because then the next gear is ready with max torque. So it's not always important to push your car to the red line, yeah. but you need to know what is yeah. the right symphony to yeah. get the next gear. Yeah, in fact, some cars like the Audi has it in the mid range. So maybe yeah. you don't go fully, you just shift it at mid range. So it depends from car to car. I mean, if you don't, if you haven't done a dyno for your car so you might not know the exact range but I think uh, 4,500 to 5,500 yeah, would yeah. be a rough average would, uh, to get your max torque. Of course now some cars have max torque at a very low RPM so that kind of doesn't make sense to shift it at such a low RPM. Yeah because, because you need to yeah, push you your need car to, to push that your So it really depends on the situation there's no perfect solution but in our case if so a lot of nationally aspirated engines have their RPM or max stock, max horsepower at the end of the curve. So then it's perfect because you go fully to the revs and then you shift. Yeah. But anyway, that's about it. So thank you guys for checking out our video. We thank hope you, you liked our video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. And if you did, please do subscribe to the channel and like this video and see you in the next one. And drop a comment if you want us to check out something else too. Yeah. And if you, yeah, exactly. If you want us to cover something else, your ideas are amazing as always. So if you have any suggestions, comments, please let us know. We'll execute them. Yeah. Bye-bye.